Hello there, Pisces, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you guys are doing good out there. So, Pisces, let's go ahead and find out what your Oracle messages are and what you need to know right now about your current situation, okay? Ooh, ooh, all right. Okay, so, uh, Pisces, okay, all right, okay. Mm -hmm. Your prayers and your questions are being answered by synchronistic events okay so it's happening in your environment your prayers or your questions to the universe to god to jesus whoever you're praying to it's being answered by synchronistic events okay notice them in order to increase their flow okay so start paying attention to things that are lining up or going right okay you guys really are powerfully um you know changing the course of your of the direction of your life or you're really seeing what's true for you, okay? So honor what's happening here. Um, and also with this, um, noticing them in order to increase their flow, Spirit wants you guys to be in the state of observation. Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. Things are showing you, it's unfolding, okay? Um, and while you're biding your time for better results, <clears throat> utilize that time to really uh, start your mornings with positive affirmations or prayers um, or just stay in a, um, you know, attitude of gratitude, okay? Because every time you do that, you're opening up the gates of manifestation. So something is powerfully happening here with you guys. Um, and actually what I'm seeing <clears throat> is you guys have already put out to the universe what it is that you're questioning or what you're wanting here and it's only a matter of time okay so <clears throat> you're already powerfully attracting exactly what you guys need especially when it comes to feeling more abundant in your life okay let's see what else for pisces <clears throat> and this is a general reading pisces so if the messages don't resonate for you at all <clears throat> check your moon your rising or your venus signs or check out past messages as well. Those are all timeless. What else does Pisces need to know? Oh, good. <clears throat> oh, Pisces, wow. <laughs> okay, first of all, spirit loves you very much. See, the universe, God, Jesus, whatever you've been praying to, great spirit, okay, source, loves you very much. So I love this. This actually uh, landed on the weight card. <laughs> and I love this. Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. This is someone who is just patiently waiting. It's almost like she knows that something is coming towards her. Okay. So this is a time for you guys to be in uh, the receiving mode. Okay. So learn how to accept compliments and gifts fully. You know what I'm getting, Pisces? I'm getting the three of wands actually. Uh, for your situation so we got fire sign coming through aries leo sagittarius okay and spirit is saying you guys have done something so it's all about you noticing and watching your ships come in watching things unfold for you okay and this is also going to help you um make those important decisions when the time is right but you don't need to rush into action or decisions right now you're just kind of um milking the moment Okay, so you utilize that time wisely. And we're talking about, uh, you know, this card of the gates of manifestation here. Look, you're getting compliments, you're getting gifts. Let's see, what else for Pisces? You know, Pisces, <clears throat> I'm also picking up six of wands type of energy too coming through. Um, so this is a time, uh, some of you guys, <clears throat> don't be afraid to be noticed. Don't be afraid to kind of uh, be in the limelight, okay? When the opportunity arises, just soak it up. Wow, we got the king of pentacles here. Spirit does love you guys very much. There's something happening here with you guys attracting a very wealthy situation to yourselves, okay? Or something that will be um, very prosperous. I do see something here where a lot of you Pisces have put some type of plan 
um, or you are planning um, and you need to trust in your abilities, stay disciplined uh, for some of you guys and stay organized and good with your money. Um, but we do have someone that is of power and wealth here with this king of earth. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through. We also have something for some of you guys um, with a partner here because I am noticing we've got a single being here. Okay, we're just kind of by ourselves, but something is lining up here where we've got two dolphins coming together as well. So, you know, for some of you Pisces, you could be a powerfully attracting a a person here or some of you guys <clears throat> you might be dealing with a king of earth uh, type of energy here man or woman but is going to be a strong influence this will be someone that's very practical hard working determined and who does love um the luxuries that life has to offer okay loves to be comfortable loves their own privacy as well there may be a need for some of you guys actually some of you uh, pisces to um make sure that you are <clears throat> creating a, a place that you do uh, have privacy, okay? Um, because I do feel a lot of you guys have done some type of work and you've earned a spot <clears throat> as far as, you know, uh, receiving something or seeing results from previous um, efforts and actions here, okay? <clears throat> Let's see, what else for Pisces? Some of you Pisces might be utilizing or drawn to um, crystals here for manifesting, for healing, or for amplifying or clearing out energy. So do what feels right for you, okay? <clears throat> and there is that special link. A lot of you Pisces, you already know this, and some of you are noticing how how things really are lining up spiritually in the spiritual realm, but also how it's manifesting and translating in your physical reality. What else for Pisces? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, don't tolerate less than you deserve. Okay, that's nice that that came out because we had this saying about <clears throat> not rushing into action, okay? Bide your time for better results. So we're just, you know, for some of you guys, be willing to take out the weeds of your internal garden here or your external garden, right? Don't tolerate less than you deserve. We don't want more weed growing in your garden, <clears throat> especially the king of earth does not want that uh, breeding in their garden of abundance, beauty. Okay. Um, you know, I was picking up that six of wands energy and also three of wands energy. Dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable. But we have this card of beauty. So, you know, Pisces, I'm just seeing a situation where <clears throat> you guys are meant to be very strong, uh, strongly uh, vulnerable here. Uh, but what I was going to say about that, this beauty card in that six. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is what I was trying to get to. Um, with, is you guys shining bright, okay? Don't be afraid to be in the spotlight or be uh, to be noticed, okay? Because you're <clears throat> beautiful, you're handsome, whatever uh, fits your situation. So Spirit is saying, some of you guys, just be really tender with yourself and others when the opportunity is available and be vulnerable, okay? Because, you know, we do have this King of Earth, which is a very... <clears throat> um, you know, protective and safe, uh, secure type of energy here. Okay. Let's see what else. Courage. Oh yeah. You guys are going to have to have courage. Yes. When picking roses, don't fear the thorns. And also when you're, you know, weeding out, cause some of you guys, you already have your beautiful roses in your garden here. So don't be afraid of those thorns. Even if it means that you got to get a little, you know, uh, poked just to get that weed out, then get it out. Right. It's worth it. <laughs> but yeah, for some of you guys, it's like, when picking those roses, don't fear the thorns. Don't fear the small things, okay? Because you guys are growing. Look at this. All flowers must grow through dirt. Yeah, I feel a lot of you guys, you've been feeling in the dark here, but um, you're blossoming. And what I like is you guys are flourishing in your material realm or you're coming into that and you need to trust that, okay? So we've got grow. <laughs> we got be present, yeah. Uh, use the hours, don't count them. Didn't, we were just talking about use your time wisely, right? Be present. Use the hours, don't count them. Man, that's a good message, isn't it? <clears throat> and beginnings, don't be afraid to start small. 
Some of you don't be afraid to start all over or start with where you're at or start small. It all happens with something. Okay. But wow, we've got this King of Earth. So <clears throat> a lot of you Pisces, <clears throat> excuse me, need to really believe in your plans or what's possible for you, especially when it comes to securing something in your material realm to make you feel um, more prosperous, uh, comfortable in life. Okay. Now, some of you guys, you might be having a new beginning here with a person. Okay. Could be an um, earth sign. So just relax. I feel a lot of you guys are meant to uh, flourish and feel abundant in your environment. Okay. Uh, what else for Pisces? Yeah, you did the right thing, Pisces. Um, now, okay, this card is coming out. Temptation uh, can lead to a stray. So some of you guys need to not question about what you've done in the past. And now that I'm saying that, Pisces, if you haven't already listened to someone's Oracle messages that was, <clears throat> excuse me, published yesterday from this date, <clears throat> I, I highly recommend that you do because I feel that you would resonate with that um, reading as well. Um, so don't question the things in the past and don't allow them to worry you, okay? You've already done something, you did something, accept it, and Spirit's saying you did the right thing, Pisces, okay? Don't get tempted to lower your standards or to do something because we may be afraid of what's ahead of us in the future. Um, don't allow someone or anything to tempt you at this time, especially if you're feeling confused about a situation or you know, uncertain because things are leading up for you guys to notice, to really um, pay, you know, so pay attention to this, right? Um, you're going to increase the flow of synchronistic events, which gives you guys a leverage here. What else for Pisces? Rest, you need to slow down. You don't have to do Oh, you don't have to solve everything today, Pisces. Yeah, look at that. Don't rush into action. Bide your time for better results here, right? Um, the only thing that I see you needing to take action on is implementing a plan for some of you guys to where you have some strong boundaries or privacy, a place to rest. Some of you, you do need to slow down. You need to kind of like really honor with where you're at and what you have so far, okay? Um, and don't try to solve everything today. Remember you're, you're lining yourself up to, um, play with the universe here and the universe is gifting you guys, um, you know, direction, guidance. Let's see what else for Pisces. Wow, <laughs> we're just talking about this uh, masculine type energy here. We've got father healing here. So we do have a strong masculine father type of energy that's coming through. So some of you Pisces, you've been doing a lot of healing when it comes to <clears throat> a uh, masculine energy here, uh, especially when it comes to a father or for some of you Pisces, maybe a father that was absent in your life. But your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven. Yeah, there may have been something here where some of you guys might have been feeling controlled or overpowered in a situation, or um, there was a lack of that sense of security, a lack of, um, you know, uh, yeah, safety, feeling safe in a situation for some. Um, or there just wasn't, uh, again, there could have been this absence of that. But I do see a lot of you guys are bringing forth that energy, right? we got that king of earth here. Now, this is definitely going to be a very strong, secure father type energy here. Okay, so um, a lot of you guys have been doing a lot of healing work, releasing work here, you know. But also, some of you Pisces, you may need to be aware of what has gone on here with a uh, masculine type energy, whether it was like father or maybe even a partner here, okay? And just release it to heaven and let heaven show you because heaven is saying, you guys 
Um, you, you don't need to tolerate things that um, you don't deserve, right? Your um, making room for good situations, good people to enter your life. What else for Pisces? And you know what's interesting, Pisces? I'm noticing maybe some of you guys, there may be someone, maybe some of you guys have this or... Um, there's a wise one here, but I'm noticing, um, you know, an elder or someone that um, is very mature in their age. Uh, they could have facial hair, a long beard. I mean, look, but they're crowned here. I mean, so there's a strong person here. Okay. Very wise. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this magician okay it is time to not tolerate less than you deserve we do have a new outcome some of you guys need to expect a new outcome and expect magic to happen in your life what is going on with this guy look at this i mean hello you're getting help from the other side you know that the divine father is coming through here oh some of you maybe some pisces have felt really abandoned in a situation too especially when it came to someone that we trusted and loved here right Family or not, a strong influence. So spirit is stepping in here. Spirit's always been in. Spirit is the, the big, great divine father anyways. So spirit is give, gifting you guys a situation to feel proud of yourself, to flourish. Um, possibly a new person too for some of you guys with that king of earth that someone is, um, you know, for some of you feeling that something's missing or, or you're feeling a little incomplete here magic is happening here so some of you um you really do need to pay attention to things that could tempt you especially if you want to do things just to feel good right now but that could be also cause problems in the future so pay attention to that uh, to make some wise decisions this is why spirit is saying bide your time don't get don't get tempted to do things right now right i mean unless it's about you guys focusing on you know, healing um, yourself or creating a sacred space so that you guys can have room to say these positive affirmations um, because you are, you are opening up the gates of manifestation. We even have the magician card here. Okay. So there's, there's a lot of speed going on um, actually. So the, the more that you are staying aligned with, um, you, you're, you know, the positive things in the future, the better off you're going to be, the, the quicker things can happen for you. And it's not about making things happen quickly because it's all going to have to happen in divine timing. But spirit is saying, you guys don't need to question what you did in the past. It was the right thing. Okay. Some of you guys, um, not all of you Pisces, but there could be someone that could be influencing you right now that could be actually causing you more confusion. So that's that's kind of your little red flag and cue that you need to pay attention to and maybe just disengage from that for the time being, okay? Until you get more information or clarity <clears throat> or feel very strong with yourself and where you're at. What else for uh, Pisces? And it's just really so cute how spirit is just really telling you. I mean, this is the divine father that from above here, you know, God loves you very much. God knows what you've gone through. Okay. And God also is going to replace anything that you feel is missing in your life. Cause you, I'm glad I was just talking about that. There's just, wow, Pisces, you're incredible. What you're doing is incredible. It takes great inner, uh, spiritual strength to do what you guys have done and to keep moving forward. You're a true spiritual warrior, Pisces. Do not forget this. This is why you deserve to feel the comforts of life, to feel safe, to feel secure, to feel protected, to feel abundant. Something is promising for you and someone. <clears throat> what else for Pisces? Don't allow, <clears throat> oh my gosh, Pisces. Yeah, don't be tempted here. Okay, some of you guys, 
<clears throat> there was something about creating maybe boundaries or or being able to have some privacy. Don't allow others to be greedy for your attention and emotions, Pisces. Now, some of you, you need to pay attention not to get distracted, not to give your attention and your energy uh, to things um, that do not allow your internal and outer garden to grow, right? Don't tolerate less than you deserve. <clears throat> What else? More about being in the present moment. <clears throat> I thought we had another card. Oh, be present. And then we got a present. There's also presents coming towards you. Journey into the garden to escape the two eternities, the past and the future. We're too much in the past and we're also too much in the future, Pisces. So don't get distracted. This is your point of power right now. This is how magician energy works by paying attention to the now so that you are in a state of observation and you know when opportunities arises and you know when to take inspired action or decisions here. But you're, you know, go somewhere. And it's funny, we're talking about the garden, right? We're talking about your internal and outer garden. But maybe some of you guys be out, do something where you guys can release and relieve yourself from being too much in the future and too much in the past you need to be in the present moment that's where the magic is happening pisces okay and a lot of you guys know this you just need to be reminded and <clears throat> you know with practice and patience um, it becomes easier and easier this is why i'm seeing a wise one with you pisces you, you, you there you know this already it's in your soul what else for pisces Okay. <clears throat> I was going to talk something about money for some of you guys. No matter where you're at, some of you Pisces, don't be afraid to implement, even if you feel that you have to start small or at a beginning here. Don't be afraid to implement like new <clears throat> spending, uh, savings plan, um, future goals here. Some of you, you just may need to conserve your time, your resources for the time being. Okay. Um, but rest assured, as you guys keep moving along, you're going to have something abundant in your life, okay? Don't put decisions, oh cow, goodness gracious, don't put decisions off until later. Make them with confidence now. Why was I talking about money for some of you guys? Yeah, I just feel that whatever decisions need to be made, right? We, we need to honor what's happening here, right? So make decisions that help you guys uh, utilize this time for better results, okay? And also don't be afraid to make some decisions here because we do have the king of earth. So a lot of you Pisces may have strong fire and earth placements in your chart um, and you know what's best for you and you need to honor that and trust that. Some of you Pisces really, really, I'm just picking up something about you guys not having enough privacy or there maybe some of you are trying to adjust yourself with a new situation that you're finding yourself in. So, you know, don't be afraid to... Um, start putting some of your ideas or decisions into um, action or implement them, right? We're doing things right now that's going to give you guys a sense of being in the, the now moment though. That's, that's the whole thing with this, you know, making decisions here. And it could be a little dangerous to make decisions if you're too far into the future as well. So you don't want to, Pisces, some of you guys need to hear that. You don't want to you know, be in this magician energy and be too far focused into the future and start making decisions on things that haven't even happened yet. So we, we need to just kind of, you know, bide your time, see what's happening here. Okay. It's already, something's already unfolding for you. Uh, but I do feel that there's something tied in with money decisions right now for some of you Pisces. Okay. Uh, what else for Pisces? Because there could even be, for some of you Pisces, with, you know, some assets here, investments, property. Um, but Spirit is saying your answers um, are coming by synchronistic events. Okay. 
Wow. <clears throat> okay. So there's going to be something that it will tempt you and it, there could be a strong pull to some type of past type energy. And it's really interesting because we had this thing talking, this card, journey into the garden, escape to the escape the two eternities, eternities of the past and the future, right? Because those could be never ending if you think about it. <clears throat> Look at this, Pisces. Past life experiences are playing out in this lifetime. There's something going on with this ancient wise one too, right? Know, knowing that you've been here before or you've dealt with something or someone from past life, right? Past life memories are playing out in this lifetime, okay? But this is what spirit is saying, Pisces, be strong enough to let go. <clears throat> patient and patient enough to get what you truly deserve. And that's that king of earth. The king of earth knows and is very wise and patient. Um, they're doing things that they know are going to give them results, so you deserve this. You deserve to let go of the past, right? You deserve to be patient and you deserve to get what you truly want. And that's coming out. Th this is coming out twice about getting what you truly deserve. Some of you guys might have a real stubborn weed that you really need to tug and pull harder at and get it out of your garden. Now, some of you Pisces, you could be realizing um, old patterns and behaviors that are just not suiting you and, and it's shifting and changing. Okay, so just allow it to release itself. It's not going to happen overnight. Maybe for some it can, but <clears throat> it takes a little practice and time. What else for Pisces? <clears throat> I knew that card wanted to come out. Look at this. You have the Midas touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold. This is why we want to say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. Start noticing what is going good and right in your life, not what you've been disappointed or worried about or hung up about, right? This is all about magician and alchemy at play right now. Because you're, oh yes, you're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. Look at this. Spirit loves you very much. You did the right thing. You're a true spiritual warrior. You're a healer. You do something that heals not only yourself, but others. But it is sacred. So it's not meant to be taken advantage of or to deplete, deplete you. Okay. You're meant to feel abundant yourself so that you can give. So keep up the great work. Wow, there's such honor and respect with, with you, uh, Pisces, that you're coming into, or some of you guys, right? You're, you're learning how to accept gifts and compliments because you deserve it. What else for Pisces? Simplify your life. Be willing to um, get into that sword's energy here, right? Eliminate clutter from your home, work life to balance the flow of activity. So right now... If you're going to do anything, <clears throat> decide and take action, it just it should just be about simplifying your life, making it easy for Pisces, right? You know, and I was picking up something about space because the king of um, <clears throat> earth likes their space. So if it's cluttered or there's too much old stuff lingering because, you know, for some of you guys, I, I know it can be really hard. I know. I've had, oh... I know because there could be strong attachments to even things and objects as well, not just people, but you got to be strong enough to let it go. You got to be willing to allow new memories to unfold, new things to take place. You need to be patient and patient enough to get what you truly deserve. So start making room by simplifying your life, your time, your schedule, your environment. You know, we were just talking about that with the weed, weeding things out. You don't need, don't want no more. Don't be afraid either. What else for Pisces? <clears throat> don't be afraid to express yourself, Pisces. You know, we had this card at the beginning, or around the beginning. Dare to be a tender and strongly vulnerable, okay? 
And also, for some, don't be afraid to express yourself if you need to assert oneself here, right? But Spirit is saying, don't be afraid to say what you need or when the time um, comes for you guys to connect with another, to let it flow naturally and, authentic, uh, and with authenticity. What else for Pisces? Some of you Pisces need to hear this. Some of you guys are making your past life memories more important or bigger than they actually need to be because you're actually at the point where you've, you're the culmination of all of those experience right now. And that's the, that's the whole point. Um, there wasn't anything in the past or the future that's bigger or greater than where you're at right now. You really are the sum total of all of these past life uh, memories, experiences, okay? And I know a lot of you have done things that are, you're questioning whether it was the right thing. And some of you guys are losing your patience. And that's what's going to tempt some of you guys, okay? To not lose your patience and to start going after things that could just look good at the moment for right now. But really, is it going to serve you in the long term? That's what you need to think about. Um, let go of trying to figure out the outcome. I mean, not only are we having to simplify and let go of things, right? Wherever that card went. Simplify your life. El eliminate clutter. Maybe it's like eliminating clutter from the mind. Purify that mind as well. See, you're, we've got two extremes here. I mean, you guys can see this. Look. Go to the garden to escape the two eternities, the past and the future. Look at this. Here's the future. Trying to figure out the um, outcome. And here's the past. Past life experiences are playing out in this lifetime. <laughs> but you guys are the ones in control. Okay. What else for Pisces? And the other thing is, some of you, that, that pa those past life uh, memories or experiences is, you know... You taking what, again, what you've learned from the past and um, utilizing it to benefit yourself in a better way and for others. You're more appreciated and popular than you know. This is why I'm getting the three of wands energy. Look at this. Your patience will pay off. This is the king of earth. Very patient, practical. It's like what I'm seeing is someone who is spiritual yet practical. And that's exactly what's happening with you guys. You're, you're stepping into this, right? Your patience will pay off. You're more appreciated and popular than you know, okay? So some of you guys, you're not realizing this, okay? And I was getting that three of wands type of energy. So you guys need to expect to see results in your life. What else for Pisces? Oh, Pisces. Wow. Do we have a father type of masculine energy coming through? Now we got the emperor. Holy crap. This emperor is very strong, powerful. There's a lot of authority with this. Some of you Pisces don't get discouraged either because there may be something here with, you know, expressing what's true for you and, and not being afraid to express your own truth, especially when we need to uh, take control of our own life and our own situation. I want a little bit more though with this um, emperor because I am seeing not only are you guys um, being guided to uh, take a position of authority, but you also could be drawing in someone of you know great strength and authority here as well and a very divine partner. Let's get a little bit more with this emperor. we got Aries energy coming through here. I want more about this emperor for Pisces. Because there's something about you, Pisces, protecting what you guys know is worth protecting as well. Okay, make time to relax, yeah. 
Don't be afraid to take control of your situation. Start creating some strong boundaries. And you know, someone here is in a quiet place, right? Solitude. You know, something about you guys needing privacy or that time to relax, make time. This is what the emperor is doing, taking charge of their life, you know, asserting themselves when they need to, um, creating some type of order, especially when we're feeling, you know, disorganized or things are in chaos or out of order. Just be still, enjoy your solitude. This is about milking this time and milking this moment, not needing or wanting anything from the future or the past just indulging in much needed self-care. And also seeing someone who's preparing themselves, right? Relaxing, beautifying themselves and getting ready for, you know, a mate here for some of you or a partner of some, uh, you know, a, a partnership that will be very strong um, and influential, long-standing if you want it to be as well, okay? Whether it's love or not. But wow, I just see a lot of you, as, wow, a lot of you on um, Pisces are so strong. I mean, it's just, this is why I see a lot of you Pisces just, you know, bringing some great wisdom uh, within your soul's blueprint into this time period now, okay? What else for Pisces? Some of you Pisces... <clears throat> could be dealing with a very stubborn, rigid energy and you need to be strong enough to let go of that or that person, especially someone who could be taking advantage of your time or controlling your time, your energy, okay? Take that part if it resonates, it won't for all of you. We got more about this manifesting Okay, we've got more about this new outcome. Um, to manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. Do what makes you guys feel that you're in the flow, that you're in, you know, in sync with the universe here, listening to your own soul's music, your own soul's desires, right? Chant, hum, sing, or play music. And don't even think about manifesting. How about just go have fun and chant, hum, sing, and play music just for the hell of it? Because either way, you're gonna help. it's going to help you manifest rapidly anyways. Because we're in a state of being in the now moment. We're enjoying uh, a situation, right, with ourselves or others, whatever you find yourself in. There could be something here with playing the harp, too, for some of you guys. Or maybe you want to learn. <laughs> Uh, what else for Pisces? Now, for some of you Pisces, you might be already doing this with crystals and music. And so this is just your confirmation that, yep, it's working. But we've got to, you know, the hiccup is trying to figure out when, how it will come. You know, it's coming in in its own disguise is how it's coming. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, you guys need to let go of someone or, you know, something or someone that you guys know is not honest for you. So what is it in your situation? It's going to be different for anyone, uh, for each and one of you, or excuse me, each and every one of you. But honesty is not being reciprocated. Right. And then look what came out after. More about this deserving thing. Look at that. They don't deserve your mind, heart and tears anymore. All will be OK. Now, there could be something tied in here, right, that we're having a hard time letting go because we may have had some personal power issues or we had to deal with someone that either was absent in our life or, or just wasn't um, up to par that couldn't give uh, what maybe you needed, right? Because that soul was where they were at in their own experience, in their own journey. But Pisces... Don't let them be greedy for your time. Don't let them be greedy for your tears. Don't let them be greedy for your heart. It's all going to be okay. What else for Pisces? <laughs> mm -hmm. Queen of fire. Follow your passions, Pisces. Okay. 
have confidence in your leadership abilities as well, or have confidence that you are able to inspire, that you are uh, coming into a situation where things will boost your confidence. So please learn how to accept compliments and gifts fully. There's something magnetic happening with you, okay? Some of you guys, if you're not feeling so confident or you know powerful right now, you better know that that's what's coming and that's what's your, what you're summoning here. Could be something with candles for some of you guys and manifesting. Don't let any type of jealousy eat, eat, eat you up either for some of you Pisces, not all of you, but don't let that eat you up, okay? Utilize that as um, you, know, you becoming a better version of yourself, okay? Your heart is lighting up something. There is something passionate that you guys are feeling or being drawn to here. So listen to that, okay? I do feel a lot of you um, would do well with um, giving your, um, pat, you know, your fiery energy into things that you want to create and do here. I want a little bit more too with the queen of fire because we do have someone, a person as well, coming in here that is very uh, magnetic, warm. We could have, um, a lot of you Pisces might be big time animal lovers or you're drawing in someone that could uh, definitely love animals as well, okay? I don't know why I brought that up. That's just yeah, something kind of random, but anyhow. I want a little bit more with the queen of fire here. What else do you want Pisces to know about this queen of fire? Two of fire. Yep, partnership. And oh, yeah, something about you guys planning and deciding, not being afraid to move forward here, okay? You guys are lighting up your own path. You're meant to shine and bright, even if that means you got to do it by yourself for the time being, okay? But look at this. We got this giraffe here with this two of fire here. So um, Spirit is saying for some of you guys, um, you're opening up yourself to, um, you know, something at a distance for some of you, because I'm picking up something about traveling or being able to go to faraway places that really helps um, you and your wisdom experiences and also being a leader and a teacher for a lot of you guys, um, but you're being a student as well. But spirit is helping you guys really see what's true for you and your path and feeling confident about your plans and your decisions, okay? and opening up the doors uh, for something new and someone new to enter your life here with that two of wands because we've got this uh, thing of partnership. Uh, what else for Pisces? Okay, that one just, okay, that's interesting. It fell right on that king of pentacles. Let's see. Oh my gosh, three of air. Oh, wow. Three of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's all going to be okay, right? They don't deserve your mind, your tears, your heart. Some of you, Pisces, um, some of you are having to be strong and make decisions based on um, <clears throat> what you know to be right, even though it was the hardest thing for some of you guys, okay? There could have been a third-party situation involved as well, Um for some of you Pisces, but I am seeing a, a definitely a splitting here, a separation here. Let's get a little bit more with this heartbreak card uh, for Pisces. Give us a little bit more with the three of air because your prayers are being answered, okay? Your questions. Let's get a little bit more about this three of air for Pisces. Birds of a feather flock together. You're, you're a different type of feather, Pisces, okay? You're special, all right? So don't be afraid of having to part ways. Just remember what I said. Birds of a feather flock together, okay? Yeah, I told you. You're a different type of bird. They're, they're going to only stifle your growth. Don't get too consumed by what has already gone or passed, or for some of you guys, don't be afraid to see the truth of a situation. They will only stunt your growth. I'm noticing this bir two birds over here and a bird on the shoulder here. Your angel is telling you there's something way better. It's, there's a situation that we just need to leave behind. 
because it will only stifle your growth. What else for Pisces? Yep, your intuition is a correct. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. What is it that you need to take action on that you feel uh, that you need to do, right? Because we do have a saying about not rushing into action. But what I was saying was a lot of you guys, the action that you should be taking is biding your time, creating a space. Some of you need to say no and shut the door, okay? Don't be afraid to shut the door on people for some of you guys. My goodness, you need that, that space. You need to tell them no for some so that you can say yes to the future. What else? dream have a cup of tea in the garden and find yourself in a good book now remember we had this thing with the magician you guys have the Midas touch here manifesting um, being in the present moment maybe for some it's about just doing watching a movie or reading a good book to put yourself in a state of entertainment you know to allow uh, time to just be what it is right not having to figure it out not having to control it not having to be in the past but don't be afraid to, you know, get a good cup of tea or smoothie or soda or water, whatever feels good for you and a good book or something that can entertain you. And also for some of you guys, maybe with that book, it could help you realize some new dreams that you didn't even know was existing within yourself. What else for Pisces? Okay. Mm, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you guys do need to be wary that, oh, I knew it. I just had this thing. It's really funny because I was picking up for some of you, uh, Pisces, that you had to deal with like some jealousy and emotions or maybe just not feeling good enough. It couldn't, you know, for some it wasn't jealousy, it just maybe feeling not good enough in a situation. Um, but I was getting that six of wands energy earlier and now the queen of, and the queen of wands came out. So there is something very magnetic about you. Um, and you do need to know this, that there is jealousy around you, you know, that's not your problem, but just kind of be aware of that. Okay. Um, maybe just, you know, understand that it's not, it's not anything about you. This is about others having to deal with their own triggers and challenges, okay? So if things or people are acting a little funny, well, maybe it's just because they're jealous of you or they have a hard time accepting um, what you're becoming. Remember this King of Pentacles, it was coming, uh, now it's coming through. I mean, I think I even said this or something like that. Um, you need to act on it, right? Create a financial plan, have a goal, figure out what you want to save every month or spend or what, what is maybe some of you guys you're wanting to purchase uh, some type of property or investment, whatever it is, okay? We've got to start somewhere. So create a financial plan and budget and act on it, okay? Because I'm seeing you uh, taking a lot of great responsibility, okay? Because the king of earth is, you know, uh, manifesting riches. <laughs> What else for Pisces? Hmm. Pisces, you need to change direction, of course, if you guys are feeling um, that you are being taken advantage of, that's for sure. And um, what I'm liking about this five of air is you guys having an advantage over a situation. It's like wherever there could be chaos or drama, we're just gracefully going over it, okay? So this is about a lot of you guys seeing from a higher perspective and having an advantage. It's almost like Pisces, you guys kind of already know what's happening and you know exactly what to do to avoid it. So just don't engage with a situation or conflicts or people that could be, um, you know, jealous of you and so they're acting out, okay? Because we have a lot of hurt and betrayal with this five of um, swords and that three of swords. But look at, she's gracefully just flying over it, right? Something about dancing, humming, singing, right? You're like not paying attention to that garbage. We're just going to manifest something new because it is coming. 
It's what you truly deserve, by the way. Uh, what else for Pisces? Pisces. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you see? Their wrongs are not your doing, Pisces. This is what I was saying. Something about them, per their perceptions, their own triggers, whatever's going on here, their wrongs are not your doing. Look at that. L love them and leave them. Your soul is going to um, bring you into a situation that you know is way better for you and maybe even a sense of restoration here within your, your spirit, your physical body as well. What else for Pisces? You can, yeah, Pisces, see, I told you, you guys can only calculate so far. You need to just remain aware, which is just being in the present moment, right? Look at that, remaining aware. So that when opportunity arises, you can be responsive, okay? But we don't want to be too far in the future and we don't want to be too back in the past because it's going to mess you up. Especially when we have a situation arises where we need to take act action and be responsive. We want to do it in the best possible way, right? Without confusion, distra distractions, or doubt. Yeah, you guys need, you, you, and a lot of you Pisces really are ha and have been working towards um, your confidence and your self-esteem and you've seen an opportunity. So Spirit's helping you guys take that opportunity and move for forward with it without feeling um, unguided or insecure about it. What else for Pisces? Ah, why did that do that? Oh, why? What's going on? Oh, oh, it's just funny how I picked up these two cards. Oh, yes, I told you. Six of Wands, now star energy. Yeah, come on. Pisces, it's going to be hard for some of you guys to realize this, but you are a rising star in your own situation. God and Jesus, the universe, whatever you guys believe in is gifting you guys a situation to be brilliant and to shine brilliantly. A lot of you, healer, right? Powerful healer or creating things that help inspire and heal or motivate people. That's what, that's what matters. And it's not that you're, it's not that you're going to um, not get anything back. But you're a rising star here. This is all about you guys feeling a sense of renewal, hope, faith, strong, confident about your wishes being received and will be granted. But you got to let go of what you don't deserve, right? You don't deserve crap. You deserve what you truly deserve is the best of everything. The most important thing is keeping your dreams and your hope alive and not allowing something or someone to take that away. Don't give them that power. Aquarius energy is coming through. What else for Pisces? Oh my gosh, now I got the moon. You guys know, look at this. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. You guys know, you guys already know what's best for you. Okay, some of you, you know to bide your time, you know to just kind of work through this uncomfortable shift or transition or transformation, but you are being guided through a time of darkness. And, and I love that you're sitting on the moon, Pisces. I mean, this you're at home here, okay? I get uh, Pisces and Cancer energy coming through. I mean, you're at home here. And more importantly, you're going to have to trust yourself over others, especially when you know there could be triggering people or challenges around you that could sway you or deter you. What else for Pisces? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out um, how spirit is helping you, Pisces. How is spirit helping Pisces? Oh, Pisces, look at this. <laughs> look, you're entering a new world, by the way, okay? You have passed a situation with flying colors. You're a true spiritual uh, warrior, okay? Don't be afraid uh, 
to move forward with confidence here because spirit is helping you guys have closure uh, in a situation and to feel complete. But not only that, there is a lot about worldly success for some of you guys, uh, fame with that star card and the world card and achievement. But you are entering a new world, a world that you deserve, a world that you unlocked, by the way. Okay, so this is your new world. You're creating this, Pisces. Spirit is gifting you guys a beautiful situation to feel successful, to feel whole and complete. Okay, and the other thing that I'm seeing for a lot of you, Pisces, that Spirit is helping you guys is actually being friends with time being friends with where you're at, milking what you have right now and um, making more of it. And I just want to bring this up one more time for you Pisces out there that question yourself or your abilities that um, you really are <laughs> more appreciated and popular than you know. So don't doubt your impact, okay? Whether, I don't care how small or big you think it is, it is making an impact, okay? Or you're coming into a situation that's going to be very impactful and good and beneficial. So, you know, Spirit's um, saying don't be afraid, okay, to start small because this isn't a small situation. This isn't a small energy. You're talking about star, king of pentacles, emperor, we're talking about the world card, the queen of fire. That's not small energy, the magician. Those are powerful energy, okay? So don't worry about what has happened and don't worry about the future. Be in the now moment. You're, you're already being asked to just pay attention right now, okay? Pay attention to those synchronicities. It's um, helping you guys increase the flow and make good decisions that's gonna guide you in the right direction, okay? So I hope that was helpful. Love and light, take care.